GeneratorPowerSource.com here to discuss the best camping generator. So you have multiple choices when it comes to a portable in inverter generator and we have a few of them lined up here. Uh, but before we get into that, you need to make a decision on what you need to run. Most people that are going camping in a tent or a smaller travel trailer can get away with a, an inverter generator. Uh, even these two in front of me are inverter generators. They're just larger inverter generators. Uh, and the reason that most people prefer an inverter generator versus an open frame generator like this one uh, is because of they're more portable and because they're quieter and usually more fuel efficient. And because you can parallel these, meaning run two uh, different units uh, side by side, like two Honda EU 2000s or two Energizers next to each other, you can essentially double your power uh, and have two units. So if one ever went bad, you still had something that could uh, essentially run the refrigerator. You might need two units parallel together to run a 15,000 BTU air conditioner. So first and foremost, we need to decide what is your requirements of power. Uh, once you've decided that, then we can start narrowing it down. And like I said, most people are looking for these 2000 watt uh, portable inverter generators, most notably because they're easy to carry. I mean, this thing weighs 46 pounds. The Energizer is 46 pounds. The Westinghouse is 46 pounds. Uh, they're all very, very light and easy to move around. So then it becomes, well, which one is better than the other. They all offer very, very similar specifications and noise. We've tested the decibel ratings on all of these generators. So if you haven't seen that video, we'll link to it in the description below. Uh, but then it comes down to price, really. This is the biggest kicker. This is what everyone wants to know. What's the best bang for their buck? Uh, the most popular generator that we see selling is the Honda EU 2000. Uh, it's without a doubt, it's one of the longest selling generators, one of the most known names. And look, if you have a problem, if you should, which is very rare, uh, you can likely get it fixed at a power sports store when you're out on the road. Now, that's not to say like something at like the Westinghouse should be discounted because you can pick this generator up for literally half the price of the Honda and this one can be paralleled. So we have a head-to-head -head matchup between these two. But to answer your question, it comes down to uh, are, are you someone that prefers a name brand uh, generator versus a are you looking for the best bang for your buck? If you just literally want something that you can provide clean power to your laptop or your phone while you're out camping in, in the woods, which is what I do. I still bring my iPhone. Let's face it, we live in that type of a world now where we bring our laptops camping with us. The uh, Westinghouse will solve that problem and so will the, the, the Energizer as well. Uh, so keep that in mind. Let's run through the prices. The cheapest one that you can often find is the Westinghouse, uh, $479, $499, depending on the, the time of the year. Uh, next up is the Energizer, usually about uh, $649 to $679, depending on the time of the year. Uh, and then we'll come to the uh, Generac down here. Uh, this is usually about $770 to $790. Bucks. And then, uh, of course, the, the big one here is the Honda. And in red, this is usually about $999 uh, if you want to get the real camo this is uh, like the camping edition uh, it's usually going to run you 1050 to 1100 bucks so significantly more uh, every one of these units that I've mentioned here can run in parallel with another uh, unit usually it has to be the same size and the same manufacturer the uh, exception to the rule there is the energizer can be paralleled with uh, units of the same family but they could be larger so kind of a convoluted answer but you have to decide first like I said what is your uh, power requirements and then second what is your budget if you're looking for the cheapest, uh, most efficient way to, to cover it, um, the Westinghouse is, is obviously your, your best buck. Uh, and then if you're looking for the name brand, the most reliable, the one that's been around forever, of course, you're, you're going to go with Honda. The last thing I want to mention, uh, although they're not the uh, so-called portable uh, generators like th this one here, but we have down in front the Champion Dual Fuel. This is a 3,500 watt generator. We also have the uh, Energizer EZV3200. Larger generators, they weigh twice the, twice the weight as these here. Uh, the Energizer is 95 pounds and so is the Champion. <clears throat> the catch is they provide more power. The Energizer also provides some more features. We have a full review on that one, like a remote start. Say you want to be in the tent or in the travel trailer, remote start, remote kill. Uh, the Champion runs on both uh, gasoline as well as propane. So uh, a lot of features there. We're going to have a full write-up on this on GeneratorPowerSource.com. We'll break down the prices. We'll break down the different specifications that will help guide you. We just wanted to give you a visual representation of these uh, generators and give you an idea of what's available. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and we'll be back for more videos next time.